Hey, this is Drippy. Today I'm going to be showing you how to complete the classified easter egg on Black Ops 4 to get the Winter's How. This is the fastest method that I've found that you can obtain the Winter's How and you can do this in less than 15 rounds, generally less than 20 minutes as well, so it's quite quick. A few prerequisites to get started. I recommend that you do this solo or you play with a friend. Do not play with bots and I'll tell you why. If you play with a friend, make sure that they go with you to Groom Lake, otherwise you'll be kicked out once the DEFCON levels has gone back to 1. The reason why I say don't play with bots is because they don't teleport with you to Groom Lake and you'll just get kicked out later on in the easter egg when you're trying to survive rounds. Secondly, I recommend that you start with the Wellington Pistol. We're going to need this later on for a part of the easter egg that requires explosives and the Wellington Pistol is probably the best for that. Also recommend that you choose Dying Wish for your perks and add it to the Cola slot because the perk machine is located in the War Room. This will help you significantly later on at Easter Egg when we're trying to survive round at Groom Lake. That is all for the prerequisites, so let's get started. First thing is buy the door to the deserted hallway. This will cost you 500 points. After you've done that, save up another 500 points and buy the door to the main offices. What you really don't want to do in this part is kill all the zombies because that will move us to round 2 and we want to stay on round 1 for pretty much most of this easter egg. So once you've got 500, go by the door to the main offices and interact with the door on the far right hand corner of the room so that you can start knocking and talking to the voice on the other side. While you're also here, start looking around the room to see if you can find the first part to the pack punch machine. I found mine underneath this desk here. So pick that up and continue on knocking on the door. Another thing that you'll find while going through this easter egg, because we're staying on round 1, dogs will appear a lot, but that's okay because you can easily knife them and shoot them with one shot. You want to knock on this window about 5 times until Samantha replies, but she will right here. After Samantha's done her little talking, she'll start to spawn in gas zombies. This is where we earn up to 6,000 points. So what you want to do is just go around and knife gas zombies, but make sure you don't kill them all because we want to stay on round 1. The gas zombies will drop power-ups such as double points, extra points and nukes, but do not pick up the nukes because like I said, we want to stay on round 1. Make sure you keep the last zombie alive before you go down into the deserted hallway. Once in the deserted hallway, go all the way down to the end and by the door that takes you to the elevator. And then by the elevator down to the war room. Once you're in the war room, go straight down the stairs and by the next door and stay to the left hand side. Keep buying the doors until you buy the door to the server room, which is this room right here. You then want to buy the door for the lab elevator and take the elevator down to the lab. Once in the lab, stick to the left hand side and enter the first open room to turn on the power. Then exit out the same way that you just came in and turn right and you'll see a window to your left hand side. This is where we get our first code. Since you have three grenades, start throwing them over the machinery in the back that you can see until the picture pops up to the right hand side of the window, which I get on my third grenade. Those Write down that code nice. and label it as the third code, 5543. This will become not more nice predominant later on in the easter egg. Don't worry if you can't get the code now because we can do that later on while we're earning points. You then want to go to the morgue to get the second part for the Pack-a-Punch machine, which are the wires. I found mine on these tubes right here. I can make, make sure that you're anything. using the teleporters Maybe to teleport Monday, between rooms. It's really important real that man. you do this because you don't want to waste money on elevators or doors that you don't need to buy. This is quite critical for earning points later on in the easter egg to Pack-a-Punch. 
Once you've gotten the wires, head back up to the war room and go to where the Cola Perk machine is. You'll see on the left hand side of the wall opposite is a box. Inside the box is a key and you need that key, so pick it up. Once you've got the key, head back up to the main offices and go to the central desk where we'll this get our next code. Return back to the war room and go to the top level and enter in the DEF CON in this order. So you want to do the furthest right from the staircase and then you want to proceed to go downstairs to the server room to activate the second lever for the DEF CON levels. This is located in the far left hand corner of the server room. Once you've done that, go back up the stairs and activate the lever that is closest to the staircase. And finally, activate the one that's underneath the staircase. It's important that you do it in this order, otherwise we won't be able to get the next code for Groom Lake. Once at DEFCON 5, teleport in and go to the back of the room to get the final Pack-A-Punch machine part. Once you've picked that part up, go and look around for the Sometimes static TV and interact with it to get our next code. Then head back up to the main offices and by the door that takes you to the central filing area. You'll find a workbench where you can build the teleporter piece to take us to Groom Lake. Once you have that piece, head back to the war room and interact with the teleporter sure with everything. the new teleporter Honestly, piece. This will move the teleporter to the central of the room. Then go buy yourself a weapon to start earning some points. I went and got the KN57 from the lab. This is arguably the best assault rifle you can get as it's got pretty much the best damage and fire rate for its class. After all, it doesn't really matter. Just get a weapon and start killing some zombies to get some points. You want 5,000 points for this next part to get us a Green Lake so we can pack a punch of Wellington. If you're unsuccessful in getting the code from the lab, use this time to go and get it now, as through killing zombies, your special equipment will recharge and you'll be able to throw more grenades. What you don't want to do is progress past round 5, and this is really important because you want to try and complete this easter egg before round 15. So once you've got 5,000 points, go and activate all the DEFCON levers to DEFCON 5 and teleport to Green Lake. Pack a punch your Wellington to get the key in country. Once you're done, return to the offices and go into the deserted hallway to get the final code for this easter egg. Once in the deserted hallway, you want to shoot the presidential pictures in this order. Washington, Hamilton, Franklin and Lincoln. If that doesn't work, try shooting Franklin, Lincoln, Hamilton and then Franklin. If you've shot the pictures in the correct sequence, the Washington picture will open up and display the last code that we need for this easter egg. Once you've gotten the final code, return to the war room and find the screen that's got the numbers next to it. You then want to enter the numbers in this sequence. The code from the deserted hallway, the code from the main office, the code from the lab, and then finally the code that we got in the panic room. You can change the value of the numbers by shooting at them. Once you've entered in the correct number, you can interact with the button on the right hand side and then it will display a green light and then a sound to indicate that you've entered in the correct number. It's important that you put them in this correct sequence, otherwise you will not be able to complete the final part of the easter egg. This is best done in between rounds. I don't really recommend doing it in the middle of a round because it's quite hard and you don't want to get knocked down. But you also do not want to go beyond round 10 because we want to use the dog round while we're at Groom Lake. If you've entered in all the numbers in the correct sequence, you'll then hear a sound that says sequence is correct, Project Scatty is retrieved. The screen will also show Project Scatty Retrieve. You now want to go around and activate all the DEFCON levers to DEFCON 5 so we can complete the final part of this easter egg and get the Winter's Howl. Make sure that you have all the perks that you need and then teleport to Groom Lake. The aim of the next part is to survive three rounds at Groom Lake. Point of note is that the round that you enter Green Lake is not counted towards the three rounds and will start at the first round in Groom Lake, which in my case is round 10. 
I was quite disappointed because round 10 wasn't a dog round for me. However, it will appear anywhere between round 9 and round 12. The best way to survive the three rounds is to stay on the teleport platform. This way you can run a train around the circles and control the zombies. Is that true? Is there some PD in you? Try and run around the outside of the teleporter and don't run through it, otherwise you'll teleport back to the war room and then the three rounds that you've just survived will be reset. It's best to try and kill small amounts of zombies if you train at once so that you're not swarmed from the stairs and from the edges from zombies jumping over. Once you've completed your second round, Samantha will start to talk to you and this is what will confirm that you've actually completed the second round. Like I said earlier, dog rounds can appear anywhere between round 9 and round 12. I'm not sure whether Samantha activates a dog round at the completion of your second round, but this is when a dog round came for me. Pretty helpful considering that it was my last round at Groom Lake. On the completion of your third round, you immediately want to run down the stairs from the teleporter platform to the left hand side of the Packer Punch Machine. This is where we will find the Winter's Howl. Winter's Howl can be found in the back left hand corner in a briefcase. So go ahead and interact with that to pick it up. Once you've picked it up, you'll unlock the Cold War Remedy achievement. And that completes the Winter Fury Easter Egg on the classified map. You can now continue to go through the rounds as per usual, having this excellent weapon in your inventory. You can pack a punch of Winter's Howl to get the Winter's Fury, as you can see that I have here. Adds a little bit more base damage and it also has a wider spread. All up, this game took me 19 minutes to complete. And if you follow this tutorial, you'll be able to do that too and in less than 15 rounds. Thanks so much for watching my tutorial video. I hope it really helped you. This is my first tutorial video that I've made, so please make sure you leave some comments down for me below so I know which videos you want me to make in the future. Also, if you want to play Zombies with me on Xbox, you can add me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is jamsterY426. Once again, thanks for watching my video.